All right, so I made a video this week about how uh, the spiritual realm is affected based off how we speak and how we think. And so I had four different dreams that I talked about. However, I'm only going to cover two dreams in this video and then I'll make another video covering the other two dreams. And so I went through a season of complaining and murmuring. I was going through some things in life. It was a different season in life, not something that I was expecting to happen. Um, but instead of asking the Lord for answers, I decided, you know what, it's just easier to complain about it. And my mind was on the, all these negative things. And of course, I attracted a lot of negativity into my life because of that. Now, something I want you to know is that God communicates with me through visions and through dreams. And so what's amazing is every time I ask him a question, he'll answer me through a vision he'll give me or a dream throughout the night. And so in this particular season, however, I did not go to him for answers. I did not ask him questions. I was just so in my comfort zone of complaining and expecting the worst that I didn't realize the big difference it made in the spiritual realm. And so one of the nights I fell asleep and I had this dream and I was surrounded by demons. I could not understand all these different oppressions all these different emotions I felt in the dream, but I, there was just a heaviness in this dream. And they, these demons were running around. They were actually mocking me in the dream. They were mocking my friends. They were mocking everything that I was doing in the dream, but there were just all these different emotions just mocking me. And um, I couldn't understand why exactly that was happening in the dream. I, I mean, there were times where it was so hard to even get out of that dream because I felt like an oppression, like something just sitting on top of my body where I could not move or I could not get out of it until I spoke the name of Jesus and then I broke it all. However, I woke up from that dream and asked the Holy Spirit, like, what in the world? Is going on Holy Spirit what did I do wrong to attract all these different types of demons in my dream and so the Holy Spirit tells me to wake up in the mornings every single morning to read the word and declare the word over myself to wash myself with the word and he said I want you to start blessing with your mouth I did that for about a week and then I had a different dream and in this second dream, it's my husband and I, and we're walking on this beautiful highway. It's so peaceful. And it seems like, I mean, it looked like a whole different planet that we were walking on. And as I looked up at the sky, I could see other planets dipped into this planet. It was just absolutely beautiful. And in this dream, as we're walking down the road, my husband and I are talking about a family that we're going to and they had a little girl that we were going to be praying over and as we get to the little girl and we start praying, well there's like these three books that come that pop up on top of her head. I don't remember the book number one's name but the book number two had hope written on it. Book number three, I do not recall the name of it as well. But um, we end up telling this family, your daughter is so blessed. She has great spiritual gifts. And as we're talking, I look over to the side, outside of the house, and the mom is standing in the middle of the road. And there's this huge white light that's in front of her, and she's just kind of staring into it. Well, all of a sudden, the mom and I switch places, and now I'm looking at this light and it's bright and it's just so beautiful. This light was just the whitest white I've ever seen. And I sense in my spirit, if I get closer to this light, I think it's I can walk into this light. And so I kind of lean in closer to the light and it sucks me in. And all of a sudden I'm standing in a line and there's this like old Jewish rabbi is what he introduced himself as walking and he has a podium he opens up a book and he looks straight at me and says if i call your name come up and you will be meeting a jewish rabbi so i said okay great whatever that means and he calls my name as soon as he calls my name i get sucked into a different light and this light that i'm traveling in is going like 200 miles an hour but it's just 
fast it's just passing right by me and but I'm totally fine like there's no breeze there's no wind in my face I'm just passing through it and as I get to the end of this light there's an angel there and the angel hands me a book and it's like a huge textbook is what it looks like and he hands me a book and the book has hope written on it and he says to me he says hope does not disappoint and so I look at the book and also just a side note in the spiritual realm every time that I've seen an angel in the spiritual realm they're never speaking with their mouth you can understand what they're saying based off just looking at them like it's almost like they're speaking through their eyes but they're not their mouth isn't moving so they don't communicate how we communicate so as soon as I grab this book from the angel I get sucked back out out of that light and I'm back in the room with that older gentleman who was a Jewish rabbi and as I'm standing there I'm just holding this huge book I see other people and there's about 20 other people and they have smaller books but they're ordering spiritual gifts from this Jewish rabbi and in my spirit I sense that it's time to go I'm not ready to order yet and so I keep hearing it. I ignore it the first time I hear it again it's time to go and so I look at this Jewish rabbi and I say I have to go and as soon as I said that I get sucked back out and my husband and I are walking on that highway that peaceful road again and so I wake up from that dream and um, I start asking the Holy Spirit questions like what does this mean and he says go to Romans 5 5 and of course it says hope does not disappoint but Romans 4 is what's important because it says through tribulation through perseverance now hope does not disappoint and so the Holy Spirit reminded me and said, it does not matter what season you are in. You have to continue to praise the Lord. You have to continue to worship God with your mouth. Do not allow the enemy to use your mouth, use your authority for what he wants to do in your life, which is kill, steal, and destroy. And so he said, every time I was complaining, Every time I was murmuring and saying things under my breath, I was opening a door for the enemy to come in. And with that enemy came 10 other demons. Like there was other emotions that came in that I didn't understand at the time. So he said, why are you using your mouth to curse instead of bless? And then he reminded me that Jesus Christ, we have the authority in us, the power of the words that we use is so important to pay attention to and so the word says that with our mouth we can either bless or we can curse but the power of death and life are in our tongue it's in our tongue so how I speak out creates life or how I speak out creates destruction in my life and so friends this is just an amazing experience and a learning experience that I've had and I thank God for the Holy Spirit because he really opened my eyes to see the reality of how we speak and what happens in the spiritual realm based off how we speak and so this is just an encouragement that you continue to watch over your words watch over what you say watch over what you think watch over what you're even watching on television or what you're surrounding yourself with because they all attract the spiritual realm and so you'll either be pulling blessings out of the spiritual realm or you'll pull curses into your life from the spiritual realm all based off what we say out of our mouth and so I hope this helps I hope you continue to read the word wash yourself with the word every single day continue to attract the blessings that God has for you and that is by speaking those blessings into your life I encourage you to get into the word allow the Holy Spirit to really lead you into what he wants you to understand from the word meditate on the word day and night like the word says and watch how your life will change thank you be blessed